Welcome to round five of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of March 21st. I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. And your name is? Nicole Erdix. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In case people don't know, you know, oh, yes. we'll have to keep it straight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Today, we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our roundabout roundup. So today I'm going to shout out an Instagram account um, created by one amazing person. I don't know her last name, but her first name is Heidi, I'm assuming. She is at Heidi Wrangles Cats. And she is, uh, lives in New York City or in the maybe Brooklyn, somewhere in the New York city area Mm -hmm. and she um she wrangles quote unquote (laughs) or (laughs) she um finds stray cats and takes them in and then fosters them and then puts them up for adoption I don't know if she's working with an agency or not but so she videos these situations where she comes across like a stray cat and then She'll, you know, humanely trap it, of course, and then clean it up and feed it and um, kind of, you know, give it some human care and then puts it up, you know, it goes up for adoption. So Aww. anyway, it's fun to watch. It's very sweet. The kittens are the cutest things ever. I mean, it's a wonder that I don't have a million cats because <laughs> I could if I would. And um, yeah, she's just doing some good in the world. And it's yeah. It's a, it's a feel good Instagram account. Yeah. Sure. And cats so, got to catch up with dogs on the Instagram uh, front. I think it's exactly. dog dominated. So yeah. get those kitties out there. Yeah. So anyway, it's a fun oh. account. Give her a follow. Mm-hmm. She'll check it out. Terry, what do you have? Well, I'm going to keep up the music theme from two weeks ago, but it's not Walker Hayes or Taylor Swift as usual, but it's an artist named Hardy. All in caps is the way he styles it. And uh, he's a country singer and songwriter. He just won the Academy of Country Music Award as Songwriter of the Year. I like his music a lot. I like his singing. I like his persona. And I just, he's one of my favorite listens. Um, His latest uh, album is called A Rock, which you can find on all your streaming places. He also does these things called Hicks Tapes with a variety of other artists and they are a lot of fun. He has, has a couple of older EPs, but just uh, yesterday, as we were recording this, he released a song called Sold Out, which is, I believe we would still call it hard rock. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Mm-hmm. Lots of uh, of thrashing, lots of screaming, lots of uh, electric guitars. And mm. I love it. I've been playing it over and over again. It has a video with it of him performing live and doing various other things. And uh, it's really kind of delightful. I'm even sort of moving my head in a head banging sort of fashion, my elderly <laughs> self, as I listen to it. So uh, mm. whether you like country, it's not typical of what he does, but he's done a couple of those. And, uh, you know, you can I'm going to include a link to his the link tree from his Instagram right now, which has that sold out video right at the top very fun to listen to and then has a link to his uh, album. And once you get to his current album, and then once you get to that, you can find some of his older stuff. He's so fun to listen to also fun to follow on Instagram. So uh, I'm going to shout him out. All right. Thank you. What about you, Catherine? Uh, I'm going to keep going with the kind of pop culture theme and mention a show on Netflix. Um, First, I'm going to rewind to a show that Terry and I watched for round two (laughs) called Making It, which was a competition reality show for makers, crafters, you know, Mm -hmm. clever people like that. And it was hosted by um, Nick Offerman and uh, Amy Poehler. And... I think there've been like three seasons of it now, right, Terry? Um, Uh, Yeah. And so it, it may, it may return, who knows, but (laughs) anyway, um, especially in the most recent season of it, there was a shop manager who was kind of occasionally featured. So he was just kind of there to help all the makers with their projects and, 
you know, help them use the tools or, you know, help them troubleshoot when things weren't going the way they planned. Um, His name is Jimmy DeResta. And he now has a show on Netflix and it's called Making Fun. So the gimmick is that he is this grumpy maker guy and he has a bunch of pals with him and they have this barn in, you know, upstate New York somewhere where they hang around and they make stuff. And this in in this show, they make things for kids. So they have kids appearing on a video screen, coming up with just ridiculous, silly inventions that they want Jimmy to make. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, oh, I don't know. And then he's like, okay, fine. We'll do that one. You know, um, (laughs) and they, they make, you know, I've seen one where he made like a giant nutcracker um, that had like scissor hands (laughs) that could (laughs) slice things in addition to crushing things with its nutcracker jaws. Um, And they always have like a twist, you know, like, in this case, the girl who wanted the nutcracker, it's like, oh, one more thing. I want it to be able to make a smoothie. (laughs) So then they have to like put a blender in the nutcracker's head so that the smoothie will shoot out its nose, things like that. (laughs) Um, And it's all very like, I want my unicorn to fart. And I want, you know, a, a machine that flings cat poop. Like it's very, you know, kid level humor. Uh Um, so it's, it's fun to see, you know, these contraptions that they come up with and the sort of banter among the guys in the shop. Um, I will caution you that the children seem to be coached to be kind of obnoxious. Um, (laughs) so you you have to have the stomach for that. Um, but it's still, it's a fun little, it's a fun little watch. It's something my husband discovered on Netflix and he has kind of devoured it. Uh, there's only eight episodes right now and they're each about 40 minutes long. So it's Hmm. a fun little, you know, diversion for a while. So yeah, it is called making fun. (laughs) And that is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about stuff we might invent or reimagine, um, stuff we're ready to be rid of, and stuff our family members should not say to us. You can also find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash momitude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday.